We decided to talk about some scary stories today, guys. Like, I heard some sound. There was a woman. White lady! Oh, you look like white lady. Am I? Oh. Hey guys, it's Jessica here. It's Leah, my friend. We're in Korea right now, actually. We're here to drop by before we head to a vacation in Europe. Yeah. And it's Halloween, right? So, I never actually made a video about Halloween. We decided to talk about some scary stories today, guys. This place is really scary. It's 1 a.m. right now, and then it's, so it's dark, and it's actually cold. But what's like mainstream in the Philippines is the Filipino mythical creatures. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah, actually, a lot. Which ones? I don't know the name of the ghost. I heard that they are getting the babies on the roof. Me? The biggest thing was Aswang. Mm, Aswang. Do you know Aswang? Mm, Aswang. There's Aswang and there's like White Lady. Those two were the mainstream ones, I, I think. Oh, and I know there are more because I actually like read something about Filipino mythical creatures and I also watched Tressa. Ang White Lady ng Balete Drive. May nakakita ba sa nangyari, Lieutenant Tessa? The first ever Filipino animation on Netflix. It's also about the mythical creatures. So they do like that and that people. On the grass. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is, it is. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so I'll start with my story first. So when I was in high school in the Philippines, in my school there is a school farm, right? And in the farm there are different animals like pigs, rabbits, um, chickens. The usual animals that stayed in the farm were like pigs, chicken, horse. But not really bunnies, because so, so the bunnies were kind of new. So that's why everyone would like the students would go see the bunny, because it's kind of cool, right? And then all of a sudden, one morning, all the bunnies were found dead. Everyone in the school farm, like who manages the farm, they're like, oh, "What is up?" So the guess was like, "Is it a cat?" But then the thing is, the marks on the bunnies. There's only one mark, like around the neck. Someone sucked the blood. So we were like, "What is happening?" So my titas were the ones who were managing the farm, so they were like, maybe it's Aswang. Because Aswang. Aswang, how they, it looks like... Yeah, the blood. Yeah, it, yeah they, they, they suck, suck the, the blood. blood. Yeah. It's not like it was bloody. It, there was no blood. Because if it was like a dog or like an animal, there, there would be more... It, it would be a disaster, right? But it wasn't, so... Still now, it's a mystery. Yeah, but, the, but then what tita was like, maybe it's Aswang. So everyone was like, it's Aswang, Aswang, Aswang. That was one story. Wow, so when I came to Philippines at first, 2011, 2010, mm -hmm. right? at the time, because mm -hmm. we heard that Alabang is a good place, mm -hmm. so we were looking for a new houses mm -hmm. and we were staying in BF homes for a while because mm -hmm. there were like Before a lot of, moving to Alabang. Yeah, the first floor there was a library that my mother made. Mm -hmm. When we go up, mm -hmm. there was a blue room, mm -hmm. yellow room, and pink room. Okay. Yeah, I choose the bl blue room because mm -hmm. it was a biggest room mm -hmm. across our house. It was empty. Mm -hmm. This was the window, mm -hmm. and my bed was like this. Yeah, and this was closet, mm -hmm. and this was this was the door. Mm -hmm. So like I was sleeping one night, like I heard some sound, like what? Radio chukpasu sorry, I don't know. Yeah, but 그런 소리가 들리는 거야. Yeah, I was really scared. Like I just woke up because it was weird. And when I looked, there was a woman. 진짜로. How did the? How did she? She look? was wearing like white, white clothes. White lady. And white she was lady. Like this. She was sitting like this. And I was like, I was freaking out. Mm -hmm. So like, I screamed, I cried, and everything. So like, this was just just not happening. Mm -hmm. And I sat with my mother like for uh, more than a month because so, of that. Yeah, because of that. Mm -hmm. After two months, mm -hmm. we moved to Alabang. Mm -hmm. But at the time, my family has a very close family in Korea. Yeah. They came to Philippines because of us. Mm -hmm. They moved. Mm -hmm. When we go to Alabang, mm -hmm. we gave that house to. They have two siblings. Mm -hmm. Like the first one, he is like same mm -hmm. year, same old as me. So he used the blue room. Mm -hmm. He had the same situation. He also saw the ghost. I heard that he was like 혼절, 혼절해가지고 병원 갔던 때 진짜, because he was really freaked out. And I asked him, 
like, where, where did you saw her? Like, mm-hmm. what place? Mm-hmm. It was in front of the closet. And he mm-hmm. said, yes. We saw the same ghost, same place, with same clothes. Speaking of white lady, well, I don't know if that was white lady, but... This was a longer time. That Aswang story was recent, right, when I was in high school. This story happened in... When I was in Bacolod, in La Salle. 2011, yeah. Yeah, actually 2011, exactly. So that school was a pretty big school. So there was a... From elementary school until um, university. And it was a pretty old school, right? It was there ever since. So there was a tree that was like 400 plus years old. And it was really big. Like, you can hug it. Like, three people can wrap their hands around the, uh, the tree. I had a classmate. I still remember her name. I won't mention it. Like, she was very famous in our school, in the grade, because she has a third eye. You know, she was very on and off, actually. Usually, like, sometimes she's, like, so happy. Sometimes, like, she's really... The tree, the tree I was talking about, right? Sometimes when we pass by, like, she's kind of, like, possessed. Suddenly, she was, like, not normal. It's like, the tree is dragging her. So she, she just, like, went to the tree like this. And then she would, like, stay in the tree. And then one time, so in La Salle, um, the bathroom, in the girls' bathroom during uh, recess time, we all went there together. And then suddenly, once she entered the room, she was like, wait. <laughs> someone passing by, someone passing by. Because <laughs> we were the first ones that arrived in the bathroom once the bell rang so there was no one right mm-hmm. and she, once she entered she was like there's someone in that bathroom and then there, that door was actually closed mm-hmm. and then the rest were all open because like we we're the mm-hmm. first ones to get there right i thought there was no one there it was just closed because like there's no legs because you can see the the feet right <laughs> <laughs> but then by the time i was like i don't believe in ghosts like i don't think ghosts exist yeah actually still now i haven't seen a ghost in my life but then what happened there was so she was like there's someone there so I was just like like there's no one there like there's no feet no feet and then she, there, there's someone there and, so, and then everyone was, was like yo you know her she has the third eye like she can feel it like she can see it no like the, you want me to open it right before I was trying to open the door the toilet flushed <laughs> yeah <laughs> like I was like Yeah, and then we all went out. So you were about to bed. Yeah, we all went out. We rushed out. Yeah, so that was really scary. I think there's a lot of people who had third eye yeah, in the Philippines. Yeah, in the Philippines. Yeah. You know the, the concept of third eye? I learned it in the Philippines. The word aswang and white lady. I learned it in, the, in Bacolod also for the first time. And I actually thought that was like aswang was ghost in Filipino. Because yeah, everyone would scare me like... Lady, there's gonna be a swan. Swan Ate is house helper Ate. She was from Bacolo, I think. Oh, yeah. Like she got really, really sick suddenly. Mm. Like she was losing her weight. It's, this is recent, like three years ago. So like my sister, my baby sister, she was on, like she was around four, three. She was really close that to Ate. So my mom let her go back to her province since she she's got really sick because yeah. she was not able to work. After like two months, mm-hmm. she passed away. My mom sent Pujogum because she was our worker. Mm-hmm. But that night, mm-hmm. I heard from my mom. Mm-hmm. My sister Yubin suddenly said, Mom, there is Ate in her living room. She's waving her hand. <laughs> Yubiniga? Yubiniga. Mm-hmm. Ate. She was really scared at first. Mm-hmm. But after, before she went to sleep, she thinks that Yubin is so well taken care of and Yubin is so well taken care of so I think I'm going to go to the end of the This one is a really scary one because it's, yeah. it's Yubin's like... I mean, you, know the, you know that the kids were yeah, able to they see don't, the and ghost they, and they don't lie Because they're really yeah. innocent yeah. So my mom was really scared when we were scared Because she heard that she passed away that day But that night, Yubin suddenly told my mom Yubin didn't know that she passed away? I didn't say anything, I didn't say anything I didn't say anything, I didn't say anything I didn't say anything, I didn't say anything But suddenly Yubin was like Mom, Ate was here She waved her hand I didn't say anything I didn't say anything I didn't say anything 
there's one more story. Okay, one more story. <laughs> bonus, bonus after story, guys. After the BF Homes house, mm-hmm. we moved to Alabang. Mm. My mom, master room, and my my room was the only katumyan. On the same side. Yeah, on the same side. Suddenly, like 2 a.m., 3 a.m., like I was able to hear some sound. So I was scared. So when I opened the door, my mom came out at the same time with me because she heard that something too. And then you see each other. Each other. Like, <laughs> end of the end. Yeah. 완전 끝방향이었으니까. Yeah. I I heard from my mom like someone else was always knocking the door. Like always. At first she was really scared, mm-hmm. but like but like end of the day, mm-hmm. she was really angry. Mm-hmm. But she was like. Because <laughs> they were knocking yeah, the door. Yeah, they were knocking. So, so she, she was, was like, like, so scared. Like, so she was like, "Sandale, Hera, Sandale." And then Tony, it stopped. It just went out. Really? This is a true story, guys. So we called them Sandale Ghost. So like one day, someone was knocking my door. Also, also in the middle of the night. Yeah, in the middle of the night. You know, like I would really freak out if. Yeah, I was. Then, Like, like if yeah, someone knocks 지금, on my door, yeah, you know, it's like ten years ago. So I was like, 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 It stopped. Like I don't know. Like it was like it was a quick knock. So like, 내가 이 말을 해서 멈춘 줄 모르고. So like, but 근데 그렇게 살다가 그냥 살았어 거기 계속. 근데 금방 이사 왔어 또. So like we moved to Bonifacio after that. So yeah. Let let these guys pass. So so cool. That's the Korean ghost guy. Sandale. <laughs> So anyway, that was, I'm not making this video to scare you guys or anything, but it's just Halloween season. So I hope you guys really did not feel too scared. Yeah, I hope you guys, it was still enjoyable maybe. Alright guys, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye!